Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. It's going to be a review and also a wear test with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I did do a first impression with this foundation last week. I can link that video down below. I also asked in my community tab if you would like to see an actual wear test with check-ins with it uh, alongside my review for the foundation if I tested it out a little bit longer uh, or if you just wanted to see me go right to a wear test with the new Dose of Colors foundation because I've also uh, picked that one up recently but it was about 68% of the votes I believe said you also wanted to see a wear test with check-ins in my review on this foundation so that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be giving my thoughts on it. I'm going to be showing a wear test and how I have found best to apply it on my dry skin. Uh, so we do have a lot to cover today so let me go ahead and get started. Alrighty so I did pick up my foundation from Ulta Beauty. So this foundation is $38 and you get one fluid ounce. I picked up the shade 270C. I did have a few issues shade matching the foundation to me and not all the shades were available at Alta at the time that I was purchasing it, but hopefully we can just move past that. Um, I have worn it every single day now since I did pick up the foundation and I've tried it a few different ways with a few different primers, powders, and all of that. So when we get into the actual wear test of showing me apply it at 8 o'clock this morning and going through it, uh, I show you how I best have found that I like to apply it to keep it most long lasting and uh, kind of how I like it best for my particular skin type. So it's not a like a traditional first impression wear test where uh, I'm really thinking about the primer I'm using, not setting with powders and sprays and all of that because I kind of did that in my first impression video. This one's actually my review and I'm trying to share with you the best way that I personally have found. I am filming this at uh, seven o'clock at night so the sun is going down so the lighting in this part is probably a little bit crazy but uh, I'm coming back on camera to show my final uh, wear test at the end of this video here. But uh, so the foundation, it does have a pump on it. Like I said, you do get the one fluid ounce. It says that it is a medium coverage, natural finish a foundation and good for normal dry combination and oily skin. It is available in 50 shades. It says it blurs any imperfections without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance. It also says it's an easy to blend formula to go on seamlessly and leave the skin with a perfected looking complexion. I have to say that I I have been really happy with this uh, foundation. I am planning to do a ranking video with the four new foundations that I've been trying recently. The Urban Decay Stay Naked, which I have a wear test on. Fenty Beauty, I have a wear test and review. Uh, this one here, and then like I said, I do have the Dose of Colors to try out as well, so stay tuned. I'll get that ranking video up as quickly as I can get my thoughts on the Dose of Colors, because that is the final one that I have to do. But for this one, I have been super happy with this foundation. Again, I've worn it for almost 11 hours right now I've worn it through rain like if you can tell my hair is like frizzing and it's been like in humidity and rain and all of that going on today and I've had this on for 11 hours and I feel like it looks really nice still so I have been a big fan of this foundation I would agree with the medium coverage to it uh, it is a natural yet luminous finish foundation and I think you can kind of play around with it with what primers you're using and powders that you use to help get it to the exact match that you want it to be for your skin. Again, because I do have dry skin, I like when a foundation leaves me a little bit dewy, but I don't like it to be too overly dewy. So that is why when I'm showing this foundation, I'm showing the favorite primer that I've had with it and also setting it with powder because I feel like once I do that, I don't have to touch the foundation the rest of the day. And I feel like it's like that perfect amount of dewiness to my skin without being too much and making me feel like I have to blot or powder my face. Like the coverage on it, I think that um, the wear time on this is really great too. And one of my biggest problems that I have found with luminous or dewy finish foundations is I don't feel like they last very long. They break up, they start to fade, they kind of transfer away. This is one of mm, this is one of my most long wearing luminous finish foundations which has me super impressed even the first time I tried it with just a moisturizing primer um, the Smashbox photo finish primerizer and not setting it with a powder even though I got pretty dewy by the end of the night and I did want to powder the foundation still held up really well on my skin and hadn't worn away um, it hadn't broken up or anything like that so uh, just making a few little tweaks in my foundation routine really has this one like very solid foundation for this guy, but those are my thoughts on this foundation. I think that if you do have dry skin, uh, I think that you would really like this one. Normal skin, I think so too. Combo skin, I think that you would also, um, again, just kind of 
being aware of primers and powders and all of that. Oily skin is the hardest for me to say because I do not have oily skin, so it's really, really hard for me to say. Um, but I think like maybe you would like this one, but I feel like you would definitely have to powder quite a bit throughout the day because it does get, I mean, it is a luminous finish foundation and it does get pretty dewy especially if you don't use a powder. So again, it's just hard for me to say, but for me having dry skin, I have been a really big fan of this foundation, which has me very excited. So those are my thoughts on this foundation. And why don't I hop over to show you the wear test. I give a few more thoughts on this as I am applying it for the first time. I do a check-in at six hours, and then I will also have my check-in at 11, almost 12 hours of wear with this foundation too, and get you up close so you can see how it held up throughout the day. Hello. Good morning. All right, I just woke up just in my skincare. It is 8.13 on Sunday. My voice is a little bit raspy, but we have to get on the road. So uh, I wanted to put this foundation on just so that way I could do some check-ins so you could see what it looks like all day. And I am doing it a little bit different from my regular wear test because I'm gonna show you how I have found that I prefer to wear um, and apply the foundation what I think works best for me so you can see how it lasts all day that way then also while giving my review in this video so it's a little bit different than a wear test than I normally do um, with like primer and powder and all of that but um, that's why I'm also doing my review in here and just sharing how I prefer to apply the foundation so first I found that I like going in with a mattifying primer this is from first aid beauty this is the pores be gone matte primer I really do like this primer and I found that I like to pair it with um, kind of more luminous or dewy foundations because I feel like it just kind of helps the foundation last a little bit longer on my skin and not get quite like quite so luminous quite so dewy um, by the end of the day if that makes sense so a lot of times I will pair this one with a more luminous or dewy foundation and I found that I really like it with the ABH all right so next going in with the foundation I grabbed out the shade 270C it's not the best shade match for me so don't mind that um, but regardless I'm still able to get my thoughts on this I'm gonna go ahead and use my Ofra sponge and I use about two and a half pumps of foundation is what I feel like I have liked for myself. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's just a little bit more yellow on me. The shade matching was a little bit difficult with Anastasia. I purchased mine off Ulta. All of the shades are not available on the first day that the foundation became available when I was going to buy it and there's a lot of like there's not a lot for like neutral undertones like just straight up neutral undertones um I actually thought I purchased 250c I think is what I had in my card originally and then for whatever reason I changed my mind and went to 270c and this says it has a golden undertone so I don't know why I bought this one but um I don't know what I was thinking there but when I was looking at all of the other foundations and how they're described there wasn't a lot just for like straight neutral undertones get you zoomed in even more so I have the foundation blended out on this side not yet over here I really do like the coverage on this I think it's a really nice medium uh, and also buildable coverage I feel like a little bit also gets you a long way which I think is nice it feels really nice and lightweight all throughout the day and it holds up really well. That's been what I've been most impressed with. I think with this foundation, because a lot of times with luminous finish foundations, I find I can't wear them as long and they start to break up, they start to fade. This one, even though I do get pretty dewy at the end of the day, which is again why I'm gonna show you how I use the powder with this one, it doesn't break up, it's still lasting which I'm, I'm really impressed by that. All right, so here is the foundation I'll blend it out onto my skin. I think that it looks really nice. I do feel like it looks very like natural skin-like, but then just with a little bit of dew with the mattifying primer, it kind of takes some of that away. Um, I haven't used this foundation with like a really hydrating primer or you know anything like that. I've mostly used it with my um, either Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is more of a moisturizing primer. Even when I use that, I get a little bit more luminosity right off the bat to my skin. Or if I use it with the First Aid Beauty Mattifying, it doesn't get quite as luminous on that first go-round. 
but again like throughout the day that's when it starts to uh, that's when it starts to happen there uh, so again I wanted to show you how I did my powder so I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer this is the covergirl true blend undercover concealer I'm in the shade L 900 I used this in my recent trying new makeup where I also tried out the Anastasia and haven't put this concealer down since I think that it is awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it under my eyes and then just a little to the center of my face and I'm just going to take my Ofer sponge again and blend this out. Once my concealer is on, I'm going to use the powder and again I'm just going to use this one from CoverGirl. I also think this has been a great powder. This is the True Blend Minerals Loose Powder in Translucent. So I'm going to apply this to my under eyes to set my concealer like I normally would. Then I'm also going to um, set my face with it because I feel like it helps not necessarily the longevity of the foundation because even when I tested it without powder it still lasted really well throughout the day but it kind of helps um, with not with helping me not get overly luminous to the point where I feel like I have to powder. First day that I used it uh, when I left my pinned comment on the video that went live the next morning I said that by the end of the night I uh, would wanted to have powdered my face if I was like keeping my makeup on or like going out or anything like that I would have wanted to powder my face because I was pretty dewy at that point uh, so when I actually set this foundation with a powder I don't get that feeling I still look nice and luminous and nice and dewy but not overly not too much where I felt like I needed to powder so I'm just gonna kind of dot the powder along and then lightly press it into my skin and do that one more time just to make sure we are good and again just press it into my skin with the damp beauty blender and I do use a bunch of powder on my skin I do also like to spray the face to kind of help set the powders in um, just make it look a little bit more natural on my skin so I'm gonna take the Urban Decay All Nighter this is the summer solstice and just give my face a few sprays not good not doing like too hard or anything all right, so after that, that is how I like to do my routine for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminous Foundation. We are, my husband is just pulling up right now after getting gas in the truck and a slice of breakfast pizza. So we are off to head to Des Moines. Um, fingers crossed we can find everything we're looking for today. I'll take my camera with me, do a couple check-ins, let you see after I finished my makeup in the car, and uh, check in throughout the day and let you know how it wears um, while giving my full thoughts on this foundation. So time is now 8.25 that didn't take me too long to do I hope that you enjoyed seeing the routine that I have and uh, yeah check back in a few hours hey guys so the time is 2 16 so I have had this foundation on for about six hours now so I thought I would do a check-in and let you see how it is looking I'm actually sitting in a Lowe's parking lot <laughs> while Mitch is inside getting a few things so I thought I would do my check-in at the six hour mark so I feel like the foundation is holding up really well um, I feel like everything is still staying in place my like the luminous look to it is starting to come out a little bit right now um, nothing that I feel like I would have to like repowder or retouch up at all though like it's just like slowly starting to peek through more of that dewiness uh, which I like so I'm still really happy with this foundation I did also want to say this morning when we first got into town it was raining so we went in and out of either three or four different stores uh, while it was raining and I feel like my hair did not fare so well right but uh, foundation wise everything seems to be holding up really well I mean try to get all these little baby hairs away from my face so you can see but I mean coverage wise still looking really good uh, really happy with how it looks at the six hour check-in still nice and natural and all of that and obviously I'm in um, just natural light right now as I sit in the truck but this is my six hour check-in I'll check back with you in a few hours hey guys so it is now 7 12 I was gonna say 7 11 but it is now 7 12 so I have had this foundation on for 11 11 hours now what time did I put it on 8 30 this morning so yeah about 11 hours and this is what we're looking like and like I mentioned in my check-in uh, I was in rain <laughs> quite a bit today and I feel like this held up so well I haven't touched my face 
since uh, putting my makeup on at 8.30 this morning. I haven't put any extra powder on, uh, I haven't sprayed my face again, anything like that. And this is how it's holding up. My poor little baby hairs from like the rain and humidity are so fun. Uh, but again, try to get you real close here so you can see how it's looking. I feel like it held up really well. Starting to get a little bit of redness in here uh, through my chin. But other than that, like even my forehead, I feel like it looks really nice. A lot of times in my forehead, this is where I find foundation can kind of almost just like break up and like go into my lines because I have a bunch of forehead lines and it can really start to like sink into those lines and just not be very attractive. But I feel like this foundation holds up so well. And you can see that like I'm looking a little bit more luminous than I was this morning. But not it's not overly it's not too much I don't feel any sort of need to powder we actually got back to town we were home for just a little bit and then we actually went over and visited family and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like not a great hair day but your face looks fine like you can totally roll like this I didn't feel like I had to like touch up or do anything else to my face so this is again this is my 11 hour check-in uh, I was wearing sunglasses and I do have a little bit of a sun um, sunglass mark, which is pretty typical with a lot of foundations. But I've also been wearing sunglasses the majority of the day because we've been in the car so much. Um, once it stopped raining and the sun came out and it got super hot, <laughs> uh, then I had my sunglasses on quite a bit. So you can see a little bit of transfer there. So I did want to mention that, but I feel like everywhere else has held up so well. So overall, I have been super happy with this foundation. I wasn't quite sure. I, I, my biggest question was the longevity of it. How well would it hold up throughout the day? But I feel like testing it out with a few, you know, different primers and powders, I feel like I have found kind of the sweet spot to still get that natural finish, yet a little bit on the dewy side, yet it lasts for, I mean, 11, 12 hours. I'm, I'm actually really, really quite impressed with the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. So uh, I would recommend this, especially for dry skin, I've really been getting on with this, so I have to say that I'm pretty happy about that, which is fantastic. I would love to know if you guys have tried this one yet, or what other of the new foundations have you tried. Um, but if you've tried this one, and if you want to leave a comment, maybe let people know your uh, skin type as well would be really helpful. And uh, we can kind of see how people are getting along with it. But I've been pretty happy with it. My brows are not looking great either, but you know. That's okay, that happens. But I've been really happy with the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. So I hope that you found my review helpful and also including a little wear test in here. I feel like a wear test can be super helpful so you can actually see instead of me just saying or, you know, leaving a pinned comment or something so you can actually see, you know, the six hour check-in and then uh, what it's looking like at the end of 11 hours. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you want to see a wear test with the dose of colors as well and then the ranking video? Because um, I I mean, I'm going to do the ranking video regardless, but if it would be helpful to, awful, to also have the wear test with Dose of Colors, please do uh, let me know. But I hope you've been enjoying these foundation wear tests. They, they are an all-day event, uh, but I'm having a lot of fun doing them, so I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Other than that, if you guys did enjoy today's video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.